What's up guys? Welcome back to Keto Rewind. Today's video is going to be an, a couple uh, non-egg idea lunches. Now, like I said, you don't need any of these products. Um, this is just something that will basically be a tool to help keep you on track. It's more of a convenience thing. Always homemade is always best. Um, but sometimes you can't always, you know, sometimes I don't have enough leftovers to make for my lunch the night, the, the day after. Sometimes I am too busy to stop and make something. Sometimes it's too, I'm too busy to wait in line at a takeout place to get something keto. So in those cases, I like to do, or when I'm egged out, in those cases, that's the time that I find protein shakes a go-to. I mean, I don't do this all the time, but I'm saying in those times where it's just not happening and you want to stay on track, try protein shakes. So as for the cleanest ingredients, I'm going to say Perfect Keto. I've always, that's why they're my number one favorite. Um, they have, this literally has whey protein isolate, cocoa powder, natural flavor, sea salt, stevia, leaf extract, and gum acacia, I don't know how to say that word, <laughs> but that's it. Um, however, this one has uh, four grams of fat, 110 calories, and 15 grams of protein, among a bunch of other stuff. I'll put a screenshot here. Um, so when I do have this, I like to hit my protein. Sometimes I even do this to help hit my protein goals for the day. Um, and they have chocolate, vanilla, several other flavors. Um, but I personally have only tried the vanilla or chocolate. Now, you can also cook with this. So recipes that call for whey protein powder, you can use these or you can just add it into a regular recipe to beef it up. So um, we're gonna do the taste test at the end. So what I'm trying to say is I'll just mix up a scoop of vanilla or a scoop of chocolate with about 10 ounces of unsweetened almond milk, give that a shake, and I'm that's my go and grab grab and go lunch. And it's so easy, and it's easy to track your macros that way. And if I'm having a day where I've gone to the gym and I've done a lot more of ex uh, physical activity, I'll just double it and throw in another scoop. Um, and then I also, from time to time, will add in, like for instance, I'll make a pumpkin because it's fall right now. I'll make a pumpkin inspired shake so i'll use my vanilla protein powder and then i'll add a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice and it's so delicious oh my goodness so so tasty so um and then in those days when not flow visits i've got chocolate so i mean what i'm trying to say is i don't use them all the time but when i need to eat fast and keep my busy schedule going and stay on track there's nothing wrong with having a protein powder meal replacement type shake. Um, and, and pay attention to the um, ingredients that are used. This one is sweetened with stevia. I like stevia. It's one of my three that I like. Um, and I highly recommend it. It tastes good. It's not overly sweet. Um, and it's actually, it's actually really pleasant and enjoyable. So, you can always doctor it up by throwing in spices like cinnamon or pumpkin pie spice or cocoa powder, stuff like that to make your own custom flavors. But these are a great starting point. So I highly recommend you invest in a protein powder for those times that you are too busy or maybe you forget lunch or whatever your case may be, just want something easy. So. I highly recommend those. Links are below and uh, whatever my current special is, I get special coupons for you guys all the time. So that'll be linked below. Um, so yeah, so here's how I make it. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a couple of recipes and all you need to mix up these protein shakes is just a blender bottle. This one has a little thingy in it that mixes it. <laughs> But you don't need anything fancy, just a blender bottle. This one, as you can see, has been used a lot. <laughs> so I like to use unsweetened almond milk. So I'm gonna do, give it a good shake. <laughs> I'm gonna do 10 ounces, 
It's like my go-to level, so that's this bar right here. So pour that in there. And there's my 10 ounces. So now I just need to pick which protein I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna make just the basic vanilla, but because it's fall and I'm cold, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. So let me get out a measuring device. <laughs> so let's use vanilla. And you can make this your own. The vanilla by itself is delicious. But because it's fall and I want to be in the pumpkin craze, that's why I'm doing the pumpkin pie spice. But you can also do cinnamon. Cinnamon's great. There's a lot of health benefits to cinnamon. So basically take... Now, I will note, I depending on my macros for the day, I will either do one or two scoops. If I go to the gym and I have a very um, active day, I will probably do two scoops. Um, but if it's just, if I'm hungry and I just want to have some protein without wrecking my macros for the day, I will do just, um, just one scoop. So d obviously, if you're tracking your macros, be at pay attention to where you are at the day and go by how you feel and what you did. So, if you could only smell how delightful the pumpkin pie spice is, but I put a teaspoon in there and I'm in heaven in about 10 seconds. <laughs> and I also want to add, I will occasionally spike it with some more collagen. Um, if I am having a collagen coffee in the, later in the day, I'll put the collagen in there. But say it's a day where I didn't get a chance to have my coffee or whatnot, I will sneak in my collagen in my protein shake. So, <clears throat> put the lid on there and watch how easy it blends together. <clears throat> Ooh, gonna fall out of my hand. And just like that, it's blended. I mean, it's so easily blendable, it's delicious, and it tastes fantastic. So that is the, I wanna call that the pumpkin spice um, recipe that I do. Um, I don't know if there's any formal recipe out there, but I just like to add my spice. So and that's literally all I did. So the next one we're gonna do is chocolate. <clears throat> and just like vanilla, the chocolate is just as delicious by itself. Um, when I have Aunt Flo visiting, I will even include cacao nibs, um, or I'll, I'll bump up the cacao by adding <laughs> more cacao powder. Um, but that's just, you know, if that happens, that's what I'll do. I don't do that every time. The chocolate by itself is delicious. Sometimes I add cinnamon, though, to my chocolate. So I'm not going to show you because I, I essentially, I just used the same teaspoon. So you can imagine me pouring um, the almond spice, um, almond milk in, the, in my shaker bottle and adding some cinnamon. But these are delicious. And also, same thing, you can add your collagen in. So links are below. Let me know how you like it. And I'm going to include a bonus recipe if you keep watching. <laughs>